Well, a lot of guys worry about the right thing to say, the right thing to do, the right, right, right thing, okay? Like there is an exact right thing to say, an exact right thing to do, and we're gonna correct it in this video. My name is Jaden, number one dating coach up and coming. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna help you get out of this loser mentality. It's a loser mentality. To think about, oh, what's the right thing to say? Oh, what's the right thing to do? It's a loser. It's for losers. I'm gonna help you stop being a fucking loser. Now, let's roll the intro. So let's break it down. Let's break it down. What does it mean if a woman is with you? Okay? What does it mean if a woman stays with you? What does it mean if a woman wants to come back again and again? She wants to see you on a daily basis. She wants to see you on a weekly basis. She misses you. She loves you. She's attracted to you. Why, 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 why? Once you understand why, okay, she can love you for so many reasons, like hundreds of reasons, but there's a fundamental thing underlying, like beneath the surface, okay? There's a fundamental thing there that, that, that allows her love to be there for you, and this is how you make her feel. This is such a, a, a foreign concept for the male brain. Like, like, like I know that when I said this to you right now, how you make her feel, like nothing happened in your brain. You're like, oh, what do you mean how you make her feel? Like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, it's so, it's so insignificant for us, man. Like, ultra insignificant. Like, we just don't, like, what do you mean how you make her feel? You know, I just do my thing. Logic, you know, I do this and then I do that and then I do this and then I do that. Let's, what is this feeling thing, you know? <laughs> For most guys, it's kind of like that, okay? But it's the most important thing for women. If you ask a woman, I remember asking a woman, I remember asking my girlfriend, okay? I remember asking my girlfriend five, six years ago, like one of my old girlfriends, okay? She's right here, I'll put her up on the screen. Boom, she's right there. Six, seven years ago, I don't even remember. I remember asking her. I remember we, we sat down, we had a drink, we we're talking, we're, we're vibing. It was my girlfriend, you know? And I asked her, baby, why are you with me? And the reason why I asked this was because, I don't know, I was just curious. I was like, why are you with me? Like, I just wanted to know. I was just kind of like, you know, messing with her in the moment. And I was also curious, okay? I was like, why are you with me? And then she said, she went on to say, she was thinking a little bit. She was thinking, 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 and she couldn't come up with, a, with an answer mentally. She couldn't like come up with an answer mentally. And so she said, I don't know. It just, I just feel good around you. I just, you make me feel good. I feel good around you, okay? And so fundamentally, women choose you, stay with you, come back to you, want, want, wants to be with you, like see you on a regular basis, miss you because you make, because of how you make them feel fundamentally. And so to make a woman feel drawn towards you, there is no right thing to say. There is no right thing to do. She either is 
or she isn't, okay? It's quite similar to if I meet you up in a bar, like man to man, I meet you up in a bar, okay? And we start talking, me and you, the viewer, we start talking. I'm just either gonna like you or I'm not gonna like you, okay? There's like nothing you can specifically say or do that's going to make me like you more or less, okay? Especially with a person like me, I have so much life experience, especially with people, that uh, there's certain people I'm drawn towards. Energetically, the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, your vibe, okay? Which again is a foreign word for a lot of men, okay? Since there's nothing you can say or nothing you can do, your best chance to make me like you, or the, be the best chance for me to, uh, for, for me to uh, you know, get you to like me, is to be myself. Same thing with women. When you roll up on a woman in a bar, in a club, in a social atmosphere, maybe you're on the street, maybe you're in a supermarket, maybe you're at the beach, you see a beautiful girl, you wanna talk to her. The best chance for that woman to become a returning customer. Mm, like that word, returning customer. Okay, the best chance for her to become that is for you to quote and quote, be yourself. My definition of being yourself is if you think something, you say it. If you feel something, you, you say it. That's it, okay? Complete and total honesty about what you think and what you feel moment to moment, okay? I'll give you an example that comes to mind. I was out with a girl two days ago and we ended up spending half of the weekend together. I really, really like this girl. And because I really, really, really like her, I told her I really, really like her, okay? And also, one thing that I didn't like about her which I tried to help her with, in my opinion, she was tall and gorgeous, taller than me. Love it. I'm five foot seven, she was like five foot eight or something, five foot eight and a half, whatever, something like that. I don't know the American metric values. She was just taller than me. I was here, she was like like here, okay? Get what I'm saying? Tall, gorgeous, uh, but I felt some things that she said during our time together, we're having drinks, we're back in my place, we're having sex, we're hanging out. Some things that she said, I didn't like it. She was like, I don't like my stomach, or I don't like this about my appearance, or I don't like uh, the way my teeth are. And I'm like, what the fuck? Your teeth is like straight and nice, like, like mine, like they look good. Like what's the, what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Or like, she's, she was curvaceous, you know? like. Like thick, you know, I liked it. She had a nice stomach and she was thick, like I liked it. And she was like, uh, uh, you know, uh, she, come, uh, she came from uh, Holland, you know, and all the, the Dutch girls have to be skinny. And she's like, oh, she wanted to be skinny. And I'm like, but no, you know, let me feed you, get thick, you know. And I kept, um, you know, expressing my dislike and actually trying to help her by giving her reassurance and encouraging words. During a date, during a date, we'd sat down for like 30 minutes and she was already like, oh, I don't like this. And I was like, what are you talking about? Okay? Now, most guys would not, like sometimes I meet girls and if I feel like their self-esteem is lower than mine, which most of the time it is, uh, all the time, okay? My mind is it's up there, you know? But if I feel like I bring them up, I make maybe a little part of my date a therapy session. I tell them what I don't like. I tell them what I like. I express my thoughts. If I wanna bring up sex, okay, let's say I'm, uh, you're on a date, okay? Let's make it about you now. Let's say you're on a date, all of a sudden you wanna talk about sex. Boom, introduce the topic of sex. All of a sudden you wanna talk about life, introduce the topic of life. All of a sudden you wanna talk about death, introduce the topic of death. All of a sudden you wanna have a deep conversation. Boom, introduce the deep conversation. All of a sudden you feel like you don't like something she did. Boom, set a boundary, tell her I don't like that. 
She did something you like, boom! Tell her that you really like this about her. Or you find a particular thing she does sexy. Or you find a particular, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, the way she walks, the way she talks, her energy. Express your love and appreciation for that, okay? I think everybody's goal should be to become totally confident and totally secure in themselves where you can say what you think and what you feel and you have no fear about if the other person, uh, like how they're, uh, if they're going to walk away or not. Okay, let me repeat that. You, you think something, you say it, you feel something, you say it, you want to do something, you do it. At the same time, you have no fear, no fear about if the other person, if the woman in question walks away, okay? And this is what creates the magnetism, okay? Now, when you live in this way, am I, am I liked by every single woman I meet? No, of course not. Okay, some women are like, oh, we don't like what he says. Oh, he brings up the topic of sex or, oh, he's, he's, uh, he makes inappropriate jokes. I, I love inappropriate jokes. He, he makes inappropriate jokes or whatever. Fuck it. I'm not for them. I'm glad we got out of, uh, I'm glad we got that out of the way because at some point, if you kind of mask yourself and you don't show your true self, down the line, after you have sex with the woman and, you know, a little bit further down the line, if you keep meeting each other, there's going to become, there's going to be like agitation. You're going to get super bored with her. She's going to get super bored with you. It's better if in the first five minutes you grow to not like each other, okay? Or in the first five minutes, you're like, tell me more. And she's like, tell me more. And you're like, tell me more. And she's like, tell me more. And you just go into this fucking spiral of like awesomeness together. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you, want, you want to get to a position where you, some women dislike you and then some women really like you. Like they would take a bullet for you, you know what I mean? And that's when you have epic dates and fun. And this is what the, the community of men who goes out and meets women and works on themselves and improves themselves. There's this... There's this seed of perfection they want to say the right thing do the right thing but there is no right thing it's more about like like when you express yourself like let's say you think about something you say let's say you feel something you say it's like bait you know when you go to to uh, to do uh, fishing and you go in the ocean you put some bait on the hook and you throw it in the sea okay it's kind of like that you throw it in the sea you throw, uh, you go around in the bar, you joke with the girls, you laugh with the girls, you're at a house party, you're expressing yourself. And naturally, some women will, you will magnetize them, meaning they'll take the bait. The bait is you just freely expressing yourself. And they'll take the bait and then you pull them in. And that's it. And for me, whenever a girl enjoys my company or conversation, I just take her home. That's it. That's literally it. That's literally, literally it. I am uh, today 31 years old. I have never, or not never, but I haven't worried about what the right thing to say or the right thing to do for the last, I don't know, seven years, like maybe eight years, maybe nine years. Okay. It's such a ridiculous thing. It's like a disease. You're just in your head. Like, oh, what should I say? <laughs> Dare to fail, dare to fail, dare to fail. For me, meeting women is like a gamble. I just throw things out. Hey, I like this. Oh, this is my favorite position in the bedroom. You know what? I want to take you home tonight. I'm just, it's just, ow. I don't care whether she likes it or not. I'm just expressing myself in the moment. And those women, those beautiful women that enjoy that, those are the ones I focus on. And this is the point that you should get to, and hopefully you'll get to it after watching this goddamn video, okay? It's a practice, you have to practice. There is no steps. The next woman you meet, you take a risk. You tell her that you find her attractive, you tell her what you like about her, you tell her what you don't like about her, you bring up all the topics you want, you tell her how you feel. I remember, I've been on dates with girls, I'd be like, I'm scared of this, and I just go into a story about what I'm scared about. 
And they're like, oh my God, tell me more. And they're like, they're jumping on me, they're kissing me, whatever. Is that a tactic? No, I just said it because it was what was coming up in the moment. Makes sense. Now, I hope this video has motivated you and encouraged you to stop worrying about saying the right thing and going out and just freely expressing yourself and practicing. Practice is gonna take time. It's not gonna be one night. It's not gonna be one day. It's not gonna be one week. It takes time. You gotta do it again and again and again and again and again until what? Until it becomes who you are. Now, that's all I had to say in this video today. I make these videos because I love you guys. These videos are a manifestation, an expression of my love towards you guys. Okay, if you like this video, like the goddamn video, comment down below, and please subscribe. I'm hoping to reach 10K this year, okay? So hopefully you guys help me on that, all right? I'll see you, my brothers, in that next video. Peace.